Dude, these shrimp keep on jumping out onto my junk. All right, for real, bait bucket, you gonna count that guy? What the hell? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Be a good YouTube video, micro shrimp challenge. Yeah, I caught a whole lot of small ones. I caught a, uh, a really small flounder. Yeah, and a, and a red. Does it count as a Texas lamb if they're not keepers? <laughs> World record redfish right here, dudes. What? Flat boy. Yeah. We've been towing a dinker. We've been towing a dinker. All right, man. Oh. This has got to be PB. Oh, dude, that's a straight beast. All right, had a super early start this morning. Launching at a place I've never fished before. It's uh, Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. We're paddling out, going to the boat hole. Just like a whole bunch of little uh, islands out here. Out here with Bateman and Denny. Conditions I wouldn't say are perfect, but we should still get on some fish today. And uh, it's a good group of dudes out here. Everybody's pretty skilled, so somebody should catch something. Right now I just got this um, uh, shadow wrap, wrap of the shadow wrap. Uh, I caught like 10 trout on it the other day, so it's just a uh, shallow diving jerkbait. So I got it on the troll right now on the way out here, and maybe a trout or something will hit it. But yeah, that's what we got so far. Working this popping cork. Let's put a live shrimp on there. I got a chatter weight. It's like a little pink reflective little weight. Popping cork. I got a fin factory. My store super cool if you've never been. Okay, I'm under. Not the guy that we're looking for. Alright, pulling up the drift chute and getting closer to that flat. Looks like we found a good spot. That took some hunting.
Let's get it. We've been towing a dinker. We've been towing a dinker. You little bros gotta fight harder, man. I can't tell that you're even on there. He's drumming. That's cool. All right. Number two. So we're catching them, man. That's cool. Big Bucket gave me tiny shrimp today, man. Tiny. So I need to start checking before I leave. Like, I don't mind if they're small, but I want more of them if they're gonna be tiny. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This one's got some weight. Girl, you done gained some weight. I don't think that this one's in. It's probably 14. Small. But we'll measure it just in case. I think it's probably like 12. Yeah, there's no way. Still a fish though. Oh yeah. Um uh, well uh nah dude he's way short. He's like 13. Still a nice catch. 13 inch trout. Let this guy go. Go get big. Oh, dang, dude. Right at the boat and he spit it. Shoot. Oh well, that was exciting. <laughs> what? Flat boy. That's weird, man. I have a lure for flounder. I might switch and throw it. Flat boy, dude. It's awesome. See you. Big trout. <laughs> Whew. All right, he's definitely a keeper. Sweet. <laughs>
calm down, big guy. definitely a good spot back here well there goes my GoPro at least I got this one all right this guy's a keeper for sure what they're eating today. All right, so I'm sorry dudes, my GoPro uh, batteries ran out in my, in my six, so it's gonna be chest mount the rest of the day. Smashed it. That was cool. Man, popping cord catches fish, dude. Hold tight, buddy. I'll let you go. All right. I lost count, dude. We're catching a lot of fish today. I don't know. That's four or five. Shoot, I don't know. Awesome catch, man. Popping cord shrimp. He's short. Not even gonna measure him. Get some popping cork shrimp action for a while. Cause it's delivering, man. Dude, these shrimp keep on jumping out onto my junk. All right, for real bait bucket, you gonna count that guy? To hell. This be a good YouTube video, micro shrimp challenge. We got a good chance of limiting on trout. big one or bigger oh yeah dude that scared me when I saw him I was like oh shoot that's a big one all right man this has got to be PB. Holy cow, that's a beast. 
Yes, sir. Whoa. All right, man. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked right now. Oh, dude. That's a straight beast. Dang, I wish my other GoPro was working. <laughs> All right, he's about 20. Oh, ouch. He bit me, dude. Charlie bit me. Man, that's a sick fish. Super stoked. Hell yeah. No! <laughs> I just lost one, bro. He hit it and spit it. <laughs> yeah. I figured they'd be hanging out right here, man. Dude, it was right at the boat, man. He jumping through it. I think he was short, man. At least I'm going to tell myself that so I'll feel better. I almost had the limit, man. I got five in the cooler, but that's because of... Uh, my new friend Denny, so thanks brother. I was cool fishing with you. And stoked that you uh, started guiding. So if you're in the Corpus Christi area and you wanna guide, Denny Grief, I think is his name. I'll drop him uh, a link in the description, but super nice guy, man. And uh, he slays all the time on our local Facebook pages, so hit him up. I busted my ass on this boat ramp this morning. That's why baby just busted my ball saying, watch out, it's slippery because I ate it earlier. All right, dudes. See you at the house. All right, so that wrapped up my day on the water. It was a really good day in the kayak for me. Uh, that was at the boat hole in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, if you look on a map, it's uh, east of the Navy base right there beside the Humble Channel. I'll show you on that but uh, what did it for me today was the number one was the Popping court. I got this one from Ben factory. It's called Woody's. I just like it I don't know if it has like any better or worse action than a normal one But I just thought it was really cool and then a two-watt kale hook underneath it just putting the shrimp back there. I worked it a few times actually putting the popping action on it, but mostly I was just letting it drift behind the kayak. And that's what I caught the majority of the, the fish on today. Then I hooked up on two and didn't land them on the uh, down south lures, chicken to the sea. It's a really good lure. And then I use these weedless jig heads. I forget what they're called. Um, but any weedless jig head, it's got this weed guard on it. When they bite it, it pushes down, but you can see you can pull it through some pretty heavy cover and you won't get stuck. These are freaking awesome. And then what I caught the big one on, he measured up to be about 21 and a half once I got him home and actually <clears throat> measured him out good. It's on the Berkeley Gulp. It was the uh, three, inch, three inch shrimp, uh, new penny with a chartreuse tail. And these are awesome, man. If you've been inshore fishing, for a while then you've definitely heard of these and these just work uh, artificials this is my go-to for sure and then if i want a little bit more of a challenge i'll uh step it up and use a paddle tail you know because they don't have the scent it's you're actually working all the finesse and magic in the lure all right so for the cook today what we're going to do is uh i got some family in town so we're going to do a fish fry man it's like the the, the favorite way to cook it. It may not be the most healthy, but we ain't really worried about that around here, man. So uh, a few things that you're gonna need. Your trout, fillet it, cut it into even sized pieces. Then your fry. I like to use this Louisiana fish fry. And the reason why is you don't have to dredge it or anything else. You just put it in the water, rinse off your fillets, uh, kind of pat them down a little bit so that they're not soaked. And then you can just roll your fillets into the fit or into the fish fry and it's super easy and it turns out very good and it's already seasoned so quick easy cheap uh, all the things i like 
Um, you gotta need a deep fryer. Um, any one will work. I use this one, it's pretty cheap. Got it at Walmart, I think it was like 30 bucks. And then some oil. Uh, you just wanna make sure that the oil has a, a pretty high flash point if you're gonna be frying with it. So canola oil, peanut oil. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is get your oil up to temp because that's gonna take a pretty good minute. So uh, I prefer to use clean oil. You can use oil uh, multiple times if you like clean it and filter it and take care of it. But if you're frying like fish, chicken, you know, uh, French fries, uh, all this stuff over and over, your oil's gonna get dirty and it's gonna change the way your, your food tastes. So take your oil, inside your fryer is gonna be a fill line. Fill that dude up. Boom. You don't wanna to put too much because when you put cold stuff in here like french fries, it'll bubble up and you'll have a boil over and frying food is very dangerous, man, if you don't know what you're doing. All right, next add the, the power and we want about 350 degrees because we're gonna cook these guys pretty quick and then get your oil up to temp. And while that's getting up to temp, we'll batter the fish. All right, super easy part. Here's a, that Louisiana fish fry I was telling you about, about. Got it at Walmart. Put some on the plate. You could add stuff to this if you want like pepper or cayenne if you wanted it hotter, but I'm not really worried about it. All right, then roll your sleeves up, take a sip of beer. All right, uh, use scissors and cut your fillets into even pieces. That'll help with your cook time. And if you got a smaller piece and a big piece in there, it's gonna take longer to get that big piece done. And you just want to lightly coat it, man. And frying fish is awesome because it doesn't take long at all. You can feed a whole lot of people real quick. Then if you're like me, I usually keep what I catch. I don't like to, you know, catch and release a whole lot. And that's because I, we like to entertain and fry fish for a lot of people. So a fish fry is good if you got a stockpile of fish in the freezer and you need to get rid of it. A lot of other batters, you gotta like use egg and oil and, or make it yourself with like cornmeal and stuff. This is already done for you, man. The more time you save, the more time you can have to do fun stuff like fish and drink beer and hang out, watch TV, chill, because you had a long day on the water. All right. <clears throat> then you want to save a little bit of this excess batter and that's going to help you to uh, figure out if your grease is hot enough and I'll show you that here in a second. All right, so how do you know if your grease is done? On this fancy fryer right here, you got a light that says ready, but you can also do this in just a big pot or a big like deep sidewall pan, but you want to get some of your fry I told you to hang on to. Put it in there and then you can see and hear that that junk is hot. All right. These fryers are cool because they keep your uh, your grease at the same temperature no matter what. All right, and then all that you wanna do is just drop these guys in away from you. And then you're gonna let these guys fry until they get that golden brown texture on them. Once those get done, we're gonna hook it up with some checkers french fries, all right? Gotta have fries when you're doing a fish fry. All right, so these have been going for a little bit. And look at that, that's what you wanna see. It's that gold brown texture. It's really easy to over fry fish, so once you see it start to get crunchy, crunchy start to float up, your fish is getting about ready to be done. All right, you wanna hang it off there for a second and then put it on some paper towels to let that excess grease come off. And then you're ready to go again, round two. All right, here's that second batch. 
Get that excess grease off of there. Put them in the paper towels. And that's looking awesome, dude. If you want to, you can hit them with a little bit of salt. This is some coarse sea salt. All right, and while those are cooling down, go ahead and do some of these fries, all right? You only want to do half a basket of these because this grease can flare up. Just cook your fries until they get as crispy as you want, all right? All right, it's been about four minutes on these fries. We'll check them. What I do to hear if they're crispy is shake them around in this little basket and if you can hear them that's the sound of crunchy all right same deal let these uh, fries cool off man and that's a wrap and when you're done before you do anything else man cover your grease and turn it off sure you unplug it because you'll forget about it and you'll cause a grease fire in your house no bueno all right I'll let these guys cool off and uh, make a plate dude I'll let you know how it is here it is finished product you got some deep fried speckled trout fillets and then some nice crispy french fries let's give it a shot if the fish is cooked right You'll see white glistening meat and it'll just flake off and then you'll get that nice crunch on the crust. Dip it in that tartar sauce. Perfect. Speckle trout is awesome to fry, man. I never really had them until I moved to uh, Texas. Because they're a lot easier to catch in Texas than they are in Florida. I'm from Florida, I'm just here for a little bit for, uh, for a school. But spec is good. I actually think it's better than redfish. I don't think it's as good as a Florida pompano, but uh, speckled trout, if you're here in Texas or anywhere in the Gulf Coast really, and you have access to speckled trout, very good, man. Then um, French fries, I don't gotta say anything about that, man. But anyway, um, dude, go out there, man. Get a kayak. You don't have to have a Hobie, you know, or a, a Old Town, whatever, pedal drive kayak. Just get out and get out there. Fish from the bank. Watch my other video. I caught a whole mess of speckled trout from the bank the other day. Just go catch them, man. Get you some fish fry from Walmart. Throw it in the grease, dude. Um, very easy to do, man. Anybody can do it. Um, you watch the video, man. I put the shrimp on the hook and threw it behind the kayak. I wasn't even working it, dude. The fish came to me. But uh, if you feel a little bit, you know, over overwhelmed or it's over your head, you know, call a guy like Denny, man. He'll take you out there and he'll put you on some fish, man. But uh, that's it, dude. We're we're pretty much in the summer now, and there's nothing better than going out. In the morning, catching your own fish, coming home, making a fish fry, hanging out with your friends, drinking a ice cold beer, man. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. I said it last video, I'm gonna say it again. Our channel is growing crazy fast, man, and it's because you guys are watching. So, uh, thank you so much. Keep on watching. If there's something else that you guys want to see, or if in, in this video I didn't explain something good enough, comment, man. Let me know. Uh, I'll teach you everything I know, where I'm fishing. Uh, I don't care about that kind of stuff. I want us all to catch fish. So uh, thanks again. And uh, tight lines, I'll see you guys out on the water.